reggae was now finding its way into even the most unexpected corners of the country. Hidden away in a leafy London suburb was a musical foundry that would feed British sound systems throughout the land. Well, right now, more and cut two. Pick it, dub, and get it for the dry, you know? Yeah, well, it's the tonight, you know? Yeah, you know, the cocks are the best sound, man. We rule, you know? Whilst thumbing through the yellow pages one time, looking for a place to cut an acetate, found Hassel Recordings, phoned up, gone over there, an elderly gentleman who was famed for smoking a big fat cigar, John Hassel, answers the door. And we go into his house, into his living room, right? And he's got this wonderful German disc cutting lathe set up in his front room. They had come to cut an acetate, the metal dub plate from which vinyl records would be cut. And his wife, Felicity, has offered us like a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and you know. And then we put on these tapes and it's like reggae. You know, imagine stumbling on that through the yellow pages, right? And then we were telling other people, listen, we found a guy who, you know, who knows how to cut reggae. We're cutting straight down, by we? You can have a fantastic sounding thing on the tape and then it all fall to pieces at the cutting end of it. And someone who would be sympathetic to the frequencies and know how to, to capture that sound from the tape onto the disc. And John was a master at that. It's an esoteric world. It's, it's a world of subtlety and refinements. To them, sound is important. It has a meaning. So it has to be done right and professionally and proper.